hi everyone uh, welcome to my youtube channel in today video we are going to discuss how to add uh, license file to the sound sound file zero sr in evng so in the last video we discussed about how to implement the sound sound file zero sr uh, using the vcm image and today we will discuss about the how to add the license file and up and, and make it up and running in EV. so <clears throat> before going to so you need to obtain the valid license from the uh, nokia and there are two methods that you can add your license uh, into your uh, images uh, which is running on the evng so i am going to the demonstrate how to do it in the method one now and later we will discuss about the method two simply like <coughs> go to your image path slash opt unit lab add-ons and qmo this is where that we deployed our image last video so go to the image path so there is an option that you can log into the uh, image directly, Kyoko image in Ubuntu. So this is the command guest page hyphen A, then to log in, then execute the command run, then wait for it to complete 100 percentage successfully. Yes, done. Then mount. Okay, now we are done. So now we have to create the license file. Text. Sorry. So let me log into this file. Yes, now I logged in. Now I have the license already. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy paste the license. Here you can see the steps all are done. So you have to simply copy paste the license. Now we are in the step four. Press I to insert. Uh, that's it, now we have the license. Now we have to uh, mention the license file in the BOF also so that uh, it will not ask. Okay, let me check how the command for checking the BOF. Just give me a minute. Yeah, the command is more than BOF.config, so I missed it. So I'm going to edit this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to insert. Okay. License start file. Then slash. Then you can give your name. The name is license. Here you can go. Here you can see the, the name. I'm very cross verifying the name. Let's check even. Okay, license iPhone SROS.txt. Okay, then escape. Let's save the file. Then again verify. Here you go. Now, when it the loads the uh, router, it will take the license path from here and it will load. So, it will not ask you i know the, if you are running like two two three images so you don't have to uh, you know uh, apply the license and each and every time so it will boot up with the license then exit then as well as slash make sure that i can fix permissions Now we are good. Uh, now the license is applied. So what I'm going to do, uh, this is the existing one, uh, just to show you the method too. So I'm going to <coughs> use the another image. Just simply, I'll just simply add this. And <coughs> in case if you want, you can just mention the file. Otherwise, you don't have to. Just save. Right click start.
so there are a lot of options in EV and like you so you can use you can mention what you are doing so that next time you will not forget you can just method two this is so the OS is booting okay I'll take like a few minutes to boot up I'll just show you like from where it takes the license in the boot up here you can see that when it is loading right so it load the license during the boot up process only the license icon text is okay it is valid okay so now you can see now i can execute any commands okay this is the method one of adding the license so i'm going to show you the method two so method i already uh, you know have the routers so i'm moving so in the method two, it's very simple like uh, but in method two you have to uh, you know include the image uh, at every boot up because you have to uh, you know run the image one by one then you have to add the license then you have to reboot the device so that it will take that license so here you can see so what you can do you can create here you can see i, I will not have any more command and i have only to see the admin buff buff where we mentioned this uh, all these configurations and you see the environment password and file only this six syntax that i'll be able to execute so what i'm going to do i'm going to file then vi and license txt okay then you have to paste your license here then what you can do show bof yes bof license fn file then cf3 slash license fnsros dot txt sorry sros dot txt yeah now you have to save the bof so bof here you can see the base configuration the license the file that we have mentioned so what you have to do we have to reboot so that when it reboot so it will take the license from this path for this one router and then it will get activated you have to give x that's all guys these are the two methods where how you can apply your license and hope you guys enjoy watching the videos please do subscribe like and share it with your friends thank you very much